Hi, I'm Father Roderick and welcome to my vlog. I've just arrived here at Central Station in the city of Rotterdam. This is one of the biggest train stations of the country and it's been recently renovated. Check it out, that's the train to Paris. Hmm, I think the French are trying to confuse me. This is definitely Rotterdam. Check it out, they've even got huge television screens showing the harbor of Rotterdam. This is, this is moving stuff. Awesome. And we've got live piano as well. That's a very creative and musical way to spend your time waiting for your train, I guess. And on Sunday morning, I'll be walking through these doors again, but that day I'll be wearing my running clothes. Because this Sunday, for the second time in my life, I'll be running the Marathon of Rotterdam. Now, the start of the marathon will be right over there, in front of the city hall. I am here today to pick up my starting number, my starting permit, and my running t-shirt. Today, Rotterdam is a very modern city because it was bombarded during the Second World War, and there's almost nothing left of the old city. So, this is where the race will start next Sunday, and then we will run in that direction to the Erasmus Bridge. We'll start here, cross the river, run around this area, go back over the bridge, and then run around this pond, and here's the finish. And as you can tell from these images, Rotterdam is a harbor. It's a city of water and boats and bikes. It's pretty, isn't it? So let me show you the big bridge that we're going to cross twice during the marathon this Sunday. The first time it's still very easy because it's right at the start of the race. The second time I cross that bridge it's much harder because then I'm at two-thirds of the race and the hardest part is yet to come. Oh well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. If we get there. Let's hope for the best. Okay, it's time to pick up my starting number and my t-shirt in this building. And I'm not the only one. Okay, I think I have to go that way. Just follow the crowd. A little bit creepy. Marathon zombies very dangerous. Let's see, I'm number 4,943. That's probably here. So many participants. Incredible. <laughs> Thank you. So, and with this, I can pick up my t-shirt. And my size is... medium. Thank you all. Thank you all. Tot ziens. My t-shirt and my starting number. Let the race begin. There's one more thing I need to do. I need to pick up some of these power gels. Oh, power gels, okay. Yeah. No doping. <laughs> so during the race, I use uh, about three of these. Uh, it's a mix of carbohydrates, contains salt and caffeine, and just gives you a little bit of a boost. Cool, all the names of the participants this year, my name should be in there somewhere too. I'm not gonna look for it. So this year, my parishioners are sponsoring my marathon. I'm raising money to help young people in my parish to go to Krakow, to World Youth Day with Pope Francis. So every kilometer counts. It's a great incentive for me to keep running all the way to the finish line here in the heart of Rotterdam. So please think of me this upcoming Sunday, or say a prayer, or both, <laughs> and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.